Hello guys and welcome back to Camp One. Uh, and sorry guys, it's been a while. Uh, kind of got sick the last couple of days, but uh, I'm back now and uh, we can play some more Camp One. And I have to admit, guys, that I had to uh, kind of play through this by myself. I kind of got stumped on some of the upcoming uh, puzzles that you're going to see. So if it seems like I know what I'm doing, it's because uh, <laughs> I did. I do, as I wanted to say there. So, I got stuck in here, guys, after the last uh, last episode, and I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. But I, I clicked on the controls in here, and it says uh, environmental controls, and, you know, heating and uh, air blend. Well, we don't want to mess with this, obviously, because this could possibly kill us. So, I uh, clicked on to the heating, and it comes up to this beautiful beautiful screen called heat controls so what I did was I pushed it all the way to the brink of on fire the flame here and then I exited out and then whoa as you can see here the heater because I think when I clicked before on it in the last episode it said you can't operate it here so it's steaming and doing its thing here and then I clicked on it again to turn it back and uh, once I clicked out, it went screen went dark. Whoa, jeez! And this happened, guys. Holy! It cracked the wall. Uh, the wall open. Yes, it did. So then, I click. You, you go out, guys. And uh, triggers this scene. Korsky, are you there, Chen? I'm here. Where are you? What's going on? I'm hiding. Hiding from whom? Adwa? Yes! He's been acting so weird all day. And now... Now Parker's dead. She's dead, Korsky. Adwa thinks I killed her. I know what he said. I overheard your conversation. So you know he's looking for you. I know too much and not enough. Sounds like the name of a song. Dot dot dot. Listen to me. Don't trust him, okay? Just don't. Okay, okay. I won't. But I still think Parker had an accident. You mean like your crash landing? No. There are too many things going horribly wrong here. Too many things going wrong. Where are you, Chen? No offense, but I'd rather keep to myself for a while. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? I think I hear someone coming. And she peaced out. Chen. Oh well. At least she seems okay. And then we check our beautiful, beautiful uh, notes again. And I think, yeah, is it, it's new. It says Chen's on the other hand is is suspecting odd. Well, either way, I'm not just going to sit in here waiting okay so we can get on out of here and I believe if I remember correctly guys we can just we can just peace out ourselves and then I think we can go into this tent here oh that's locked okay always is Chen is the only one entrusted with the key ooh that's something new Okay, guys, so it's hotter than usual in here. So we got another click a note, guys. The lights outside went out, and the generators are completely silent. So there is definitely something wrong in there. So, guys, when I got in here, I couldn't figure out what to do. And, you know, I started clicking things. I clicked on the display, and, you know, there's no controls activated. So I was just like, hmm. 
But then I noticed this little tricky little bugger here, guys. It's the toolbox right here. So I clicked on it. And uh, he opens it up. And I thought there was some dialogue here. Oh, it, there it is. I had to click it again. It's an old squeaky toolbox. And then I think I can click it to look at it. And it brought me these metal, metal shears, guys. So then what I did was after a long while, I believe me, it was a while. I walked over to this box over here because it was just sitting here and it was, you know, has a title to it. So then I clicked on it and it says, look, some kind of a control box. And then I looked at it and then it says uh, lids lock with screws. And I remembered, guys, from inside the ship that, oh, where are you going? Korsky, come back here. I'm doing a uh, walkthrough here of this section here. I picked up the washers here and then I used them. To remove the screws, remember? Biggity boom, the door opens up. So we put the e washer back, and then uh, we can look at it. Or I thought we could look at it. No, I think the parts in the court of the support system. But then I got stumped, guys, once again. So then, it looks like the, p the pipes and hose are missing. So, okay, so after that, I uh, did this. I tried to use the hose and it tells me that wouldn't work. Use the other way, all the way around might work. So then I, I put the hose back and I used the shears. Boom, okay. I cut it into several pieces. So then I was just like, hmm, what, what now, okay. So then I picked up the bit of hoses and I just kind of like crammed them in there. The generator doesn't need one of those, okay. No box. There we go. Click the box, Will. So then, after that, I was just like, "Geez, what else? What else is next?" So then, what did I do? Oh, oh, okay. So to see this hose here, I clicked it, and biggity bam, Corsi plugs the bad boy in. So, what is it? Did I look at it again? Yes. Here we go. These taps can be connected to the to the levels and raise coolant pressure pre shower okay somehow so then this is where it got really time consuming guys really time consuming on this you know at first I thought it was just you know one of those simple puzzles where you just tap to tap like that and then boom you get the the cooling system thing going down like so and I was just like oh maybe we do this like that just you know it makes that noise and then we uh, connect it like that. And I was like, oh, we're done. No. Tells you it can't be right. So after a while, guys, I think the pattern is tap it, lower tap to here. Um, what it look? This tap to here. And I believe it's this tap to here. Is that correct? No. What was it? it was this tap here. This tap over here. This tap here. No. Now I've forgotten it, guys. <laughs> what was it? Uh... This tap here, this tap here, and this tap here. No. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I am back. And we're back here at the coolant box here and we were trying to figure out the puzzle because I messed it up in the last half so I believe guys that if we put this tap to I believe the middle tap here and then we put the bottom tap here to this tap right here and then we take this lower pipe right here this lower tap and we plug it in right here we should have it good to go no, we don't. Or is it, guys, is it 
this lower pipe, this tab, I keep calling them pipes, to here. Then we take this lower uh, tap here, plug it in, what is it, right here. And then we take this tap here, and we run it right about here. And there we go. We got it working. Okay, the cooler system seems to be working again. Sweet deal. Okay, and now guys, now I was also trapped here again for quite some time figuring out. I was clicking on the generator and it was telling me, you don't, you can't, you can't operate it from here. Obviously, right? So then I went over to the display and Korsky says, this is too complicated. And then guys, I look down I have no idea what I'm do what to do. That's what he says, uh, and then I looked because that's when he said that, and I thought, man, we picked up that manual a couple a couple episodes ago. So then I clicked the ep the uh, man the generator, uh, the generator, the manual here onto the display if I can pick it up here, and then he says, let's see here, coolant system pressurized. Yup. Contact supervising engineer. I don't think so. Ah, here it is. Use the default restart function to manually start the generators. All right, cool. And I do believe he gets them up and running again. Look, they're restarting. Cool, the generators are restarting. Okay. We'll put the manual back. And what does it say here? The generators are running again. The mass should be sending out. Uh, and navigation signals for the rescue lander. I wonder where the others are. Okay. So then I don't think there is anything else I can remember. Oh, guys. And if I didn't show it to you in, in the last clip. If you click. I think it's if you go back in here. Like on, on top of the. I believe it's the door panel that fell off. There's a schematic there. I forgot to tell you that so that's that's that too so I think we can exit here don't think there's anything else for us in here and then again stump like a, a chump um, that I remembered that he said that the uh, what you call it the signal wasn't going out there was no way at where's it where's everybody at so then I came over here to the uh, mast over here and you may have saw it that you uh you pick up and as he takes forever to get over here there is a uh ice stuck to the ground so then i took the metal shears because they're shears of course and that's what you do and you chip off the ice and he managed to loosen the piece right here so then I put these bad boys back and I picked up the ice here and uh, now we got this lump of ice. Now after that I believe we head into the tent right here and he'll slowly take his good old boy time to get up on in there. So there he is Korski the old man that he is. Heads right into here. Oh, nope. Sorry, guys. Messed that one up. I believe it is this tent here, the one we blew the hole in. And then we click over here. We open this door. And believe it or not, guys. We take the lump of ice. And this remember, this is me going, oh shoot! After a while, and you put the ice into the toilet. It makes that flushing sound. Okay, that's that's that should get rid of the ice. Let's just hope whatever <laughs> whatever it was, uh, it was fireproof. So then we can just click on out, and then we can head back out, guys head back out now I was searching around because I figured oh there's really nothing else that we've already we can't get into here we've been in here and you know this is 
there's nothing in there at all. So then I was sc scooting about, looking around, doing like checking the sky and all that. And then here it is behind the tent. So then I came back here. I was like, oh, this is a completely new section of the game, guys. A whole new section. So then I look in here, and Korsky says, well, he says something, the bin for the loot and kitchen waste. All right, so then, boom, we click in this one, and he says, this could be useful. And I was like, what is this? What did he find? So then I let it, let the uh, thing go, and then we got here a lovely radio, or radio. So then, you can't really do anything right now with it. You just gotta put it back. <laughs> so then we we exit out, guys. And then I do believe we go back into this tent. Now, when I got in here, we all know that Parker is dead over here, and this is the the one computer with the passwords then I kept kicking cl clicking or kicking around and then I found that you can pick up a screwdriver in here and if you click again you you pick up a pair of pliers so then I placed I think it was the screwdriver into the radio and it kind of took it and it says I'm definitely never going to get rid of that radio get that radio working and then we get these guys a component and a battery I'm like man what is all this for and then I remember from the last episode guys Korsky uh, mentioned this mass so then I just clicked it seriously guys on a whim <laughs> As this match used to be the identical minds, we know this, and he says that before, and Parker modified it in, in some other way, and then, he, you know, it tells about the whole blinking lights, you know, and, you know, the same thing it said, and the filter has been removed, and then, wait for it, guys, hold on, I should do it. Did I put the component on there? No, I did not. Put that back. Hmm. Do I look at it? Let's look at it. Ah, oh, there it goes. Funny. The little thing on the side looks just like, um, ah, it's a comm circuit. The same component that I found on the, in the radio. Looks like, looks like a bit melted though. So then guys, I, uh, I think I read my notes here. So I found that the component from the broken radio in the comm circuit, there's another one broken one in Parker's breathing mask as well. So I think I picked up the circuit, I put it in there. And I forget what they used the pliers. There we go, yeah, okay. I got the fried circuit out there. We'll put those back and then put it back in put that circuit in the mass. Now that should fix it right there. Cool. There. So then we read our notes here. So I replaced the old fried comm circuit in Parker's mass with a new one. And that was that with that, guys. And guys, this is episode's running a bit long, so I'm gonna end it here. And if you like this episode, guys, please don't forget to like, comment. You know, and subscribe if you like this uh, video. And I will see you in the next Camp 1 episode. Peace, guys. Later.